We emigrated 1685 from, um, from Switzerland and we came to the Palatinate and um, they started with winemaking at that time and uh, we are at that house since 1737 it's built it. It's one of the oldest houses in our little village and now we have uh, the 11th and 12th generation. My son is uh, also now starting with mine making and uh, we'll see whether he is going on. Oh, that in the middle is my grand-grandma and um, the two people, Belnaif, uh, are their parents. Mm -hmm. And the pictures are at the end of the 18th century. I was one of the first female winemakers in the Palatinate and um, I studied winemaking and my first harvest was 1984 and uh, I like my profession and since that day I'm making wine. Oh, it's, um, it was a hard starting at the, end, at the beginning, but uh, later on when you show everybody that you can make good wines and that you have a lot of fun with the wines and the people have a lot of fun with the wines, they think it's okay. Okay, so you had to prove yourself maybe in the beginning. Yes, okay. and because it's, it's normally a special uh, man's profession and uh, doing the work at the cellar, normally a lot of only men do that. No, of course, but it's not only dogs and cats. The, the main thing is in my keys, where the taste for the wine I have um, is uh, dogs. So, yeah. and uh, also cows. cows. So I can find my key to open and to find out what the wine is. When the harvest is starting and when you hear the bubble around, when the first uh, uh, juice is starting to f with the fermentation and the bubbling is going on and uh, yes, these are all my child and every child is a different way. So, so the wine is like a child for you? Uh, of course, of course. You have to not, not every child is the same, <laughs> so, <laughs> so every barrel isn't the same in fermentation and in, in, um, in the smell and that's fine, that's interesting, yes. I started with my first vintage 84. And um, at that time, a lot of German wines um, had a very sweet style. And, um, you know, since that time, the German wines changed. And uh, today I bottle over 90% dry wines. And uh, even in all over the world, we have to show that the quality in German wines was growing up and uh, especially in the Palatinate we have a lot of dry wines in that time. In my uh, winery it's um, over 90% dry wines because um, also the customer change. You have a lot of dry wines coming uh, into Ger to Germany and so uh, the thinking and the young generation they go outside to look in South Africa, in Australia, and um, they came back and they know only the quality has to be very perfect. And so also the, um, the taste of the people changed. And today you have a lot of dry wines, whole German, in Germany, uh, special also here in the Palatinate. You can taste our wines, we can give you uh, some information about Neustadt, I give you some information where you can have a good meal and uh, where you can sleep, but uh, I, I try to give you and to tell you everything you want to know about the Weingut Wegmüller and the history and the family. So if there is any group and it's booked and uh, the weather is wonderful, we are going outside into the fields yeah. and we are looking into the cellar, you can do everything.